welcome to my channel it is march 3rd happy thursday let me show you today's drip and it is raining slash sprinkling right now in cali but i just got an order for 35 dollars 22 items i have not had the best morning my phone has been acting up i just got off the phone with the cords it's not going good but you know what today's gonna be a good day it's gonna be positive i'm gonna stay happy just pray for me at this point but gonna knock this order out try to knock it out in under 20 minutes all right let's go i finished shopping in 17 minutes And it's pretty empty right now. It's past noon when I got this first order, but time to check out. All right, let's go. Done! And I'm just gonna put the paper towels in the back. This first drop off is gonna be 14 minutes away. All right, let's go. After one order, I'm at 34 and I'm back at Costco. I just finished making a PB&J and I'm waiting right now. This morning, like I had time, I was here for the Costco drop, didn't see anything at 10.30. That's when I got a phone call from the courts. I forgot I had my mediation. Basically, my son's dad just wants me <laughs> My son's dad wants me like in the grave pretty much. It's so bad that he they're talking about sending me back to supervised visitation. I'm like, dude, this is crazy. How is he saying this much bad stuff about me? But I'm just going to stay focused. Um, it is this custody battle is breaking my heart. It's tearing me apart inside. But I'm going to stay focused and I'm doing this all for my son. I got to finish this project and just hope for the best. I'm going to eat this and hopefully I can get an order fast. Hopefully I don't have to wait for another hour. All right, let's get it. I just got an order right now, $20, six items, and I'm just taking whatever at this point. I didn't get an add-on, but it would have been good if I did because this drop-off is like 20 minutes away. All right, let's go. I finished shopping for this one in eight minutes. Time to check out, but I'd rather shop for this and then have a long drive than be sitting in my car for no batches. Like, I cannot see no batches today. I need to consistently be doing something to keep my mind off of everything. So I'm pretty much gonna take whatever. I don't care the price. Probably work till 10, maybe 10.30 tonight. All right, let's go. I'm done. I didn't, I didn't need the clip. <laughs> Here it is. And this drop off is 21 minutes away. About to play some nice tunes on this ride. All right, let's get it. After two orders, I'm at 54 and it's pretty slow today. I'm pulling up to Costco right now. If I don't get anything, I'm just gonna turn on DoorDash because the drive back was like 25 minutes and I didn't see, I, well, I saw one, but it was like really far away. Now I'm pulling up to Costco and hopefully I get one. Right when I pulled off from the light, I got this order, $42 for 17 items. And I'm gonna try to knock it out in 15 minutes. I don't think there's any cases of water. I finished shopping in 22 minutes. And this one took a while because I couldn't find an item. So we were looking for it for like a strong five minutes. They even asked on the walkie talkies, like, has anyone seen it? And it was up. I had to like, like go on a step to get it, but I finally found it. And now it's time to check out. Done. And the first drop off is 18 minutes away. I will take it as slow as it is today. All right, let's go. After three orders, I'm at 96. It is almost 5.30 right now. I'm probably gonna wait like 15 minutes here, but like, what's your average? Like, how many orders does it take you to get to like 100? I think my average is like maybe every like three or four orders to get to 100 for me. Except yesterday I did eight orders and I only got 170. But on the weekends, it's a little higher. Today it's just been really slow. I started at 12, but still it's been like five hours i seen some comments that said that the highest batch that you've seen was like 12 or nine dollars but what time was that was that in the morning like at 5 a.m because usually in the morning over here that's when the baddest batches drop for like 50 and 60 in the afternoons even for me it's slow and like there's no batches sometimes and you might have to drive to another town or go to another store or use another app as well i hope you're hitting all your goals today
today. All right, let's go. I finished one more Instacart and that put me at 110. And then I did four more door dashes and I'm at 55 on that. And right now I just got another Instacart for 17. It's seven items. So I'm gonna knock this out and then I need about 15 more dollars to hit 200. All right, let's go. I am done. That is gonna do it for March third happy thursday and today that was the last instacart i did for 18 dollars i did a total of five batches and i was active for five and a half hours i took my first batch at 12 and my last batch at 9 30. i did six batches total on instacart for 142 and I did five orders on DoorDash for 70, but I was out for nine and a half hours today. And I made a total of 212, which isn't bad. I can't complain, I'll take it. It actually was slow today. In the morning, like I started at 10, but I didn't get any batches. And then after my meeting, I had I got a batch, but it was low paying. So I would say that today was a slow day. It was still good though, I can't complain. I could have turned on Grubhub, but I didn't. I was just really waiting, sitting around, trying to just hope for a, a big, a bigger Instacart. What I should have been doing DoorDash, more DoorDash today. I, I could have made at least 250, but I'm all right with the 212. I got a comment that says, I'm thinking about quitting my second job. Can you please tell us how lucrative these apps are like Instacart, DoorDash? What are the benefits of this type of work versus working for a company? I would say for Instacart, for the delivery apps, you don't get benefits. Also, you you pay taxes so i would say get a business license because if you don't have one you'll have to pay taxes the garden of life commented and you seem like you know a lot about the gig work so your comments are always appreciated and if someone comments a question and you know the answer this goes for anybody because we all do instacart we all do delivery apps if you know the answer go ahead and say it because we can all learn a thing or two from everybody one thing that i didn't even think of the wear and tear on your car it's a lot of wear and tear you you gotta get oil changes. It's a lot of extra maintenance with all the deliveries. Also, Eric Moneystar commented that you might not make as much money shown in my videos. And I've seen other comments say that the most that they've made is like $100 per day. So that's another thing you wanna look into. Make sure, I, I would say, you have to be really fast at these orders. I know the layout, the store layout, so I can go in, knock an order out, and be done in an hour. And it might take someone else like an hour and a half for two hours to do the same exact order. If you can make more money in the same amount of time as your second job, then I would say go ahead and do the app. But if it's gonna take you longer to make the same amount of money, then I would say don't quit your second job for the delivery apps. Just do it as a side hustle. But it's up to you. And also, what area are you in and how high are the batch pays? Because if the batches are gonna be like 10 or $12, like I'm seeing some comments say, then it might not be worth it to quit your job because out here minimum wage is $15 an hour if I can make more than 120 in eight hours then I'm good to keep the delivery jobs but if I work eight hours you know in your area and you only make you know $60 then I would say keep your nine to five with the benefits and that's more secure than these delivery apps because you never know also you can Instacart DoorDash you can be deactivated at any time so having that second job is very more secure I would say you should not do the delivery apps if you're not gonna make as much money and to keep your job but if you're gonna make more money then go ahead come do deliveries come get the apps and make some money tomorrow is Friday so I'm gonna wake up early let's all get it in and I hope you made more than 212 today I hope you here goes today I hope you here goes tomorrow and let's go get this money all right thanks for watching take care I will see you in the next video it's KK Purge. Thank <laughs> you.